Hey everyone, JTR Cards. Uh, so I went back and bought the rest of those packs from the garage sale uh, from a few vid videos back. A uh, bunch of junk wax, a uh, bunch of grab bags with junk wax. Uh, we're gonna go through and see what all we can find. That's a pretty big box of, uh, of grab bags of junk wax, but it's not junk to me because I really enjoy that stuff because that was what I collected back in the day. I also grabbed these 5,000 count boxes of uh, sort of team bagged baseball and a bunch of basketball from the 90s. Interested to see what, uh, what this is all about. Or not that. That. 96 basketball. So I'm going to go through all this stuff and I don't know if I'm going to make a few videos or, or what exactly, but this is going to be a project for the next uh, at least week or so. Um, forgot to mention I picked these boxes up for, I believe it was 20 and I picked up these boxes for $5 each, so $5 for each 5,000 count box. Alrighty, so I sorted all of the grab bags and I have uh, two nearly full 5,000 count boxes of wax. So starting on the left over here, all of this, this front pack is an 86 tops. All of this is 87, there's an 88, 89. Uh, there is oops, uh, some 91 tops. There's a 90 tops traded and a 91 tops traded and then a 93 series two, too bad it's not series one. Uh, all of that is Bowman, uh, 89 Bowman, some 91 Bowman. All of this is Stadium Club from 91. I think it's mostly Series 2. Uh, there's some 92. Series 3, maybe some Series 1, and some 93 Series 2. I'm not sure what's uh, what's in there, so I'll have to look that up. Um, this is what I'm most excited about. This entire row is 89 Donruss, along with these two wax packs, or uh, rack packs right here. Very excited about that. Um, 90 Donners, I probably won't open. These are little three card 91 Donners packs, uh, and then some regular 91 series, uh, 91 Donners series one and uh, series two, and then some leaf from probably 92 and 93 back there. Uh, all of this is uh, 88 Fleer along with this. This is 89 Fleer, excited for that too. Some 91 Fleer, some stickers that I probably won't open. 90 score to about here, 91 score, uh, uh, 91 score series one to about here. Uh, I think there is a, a pack of 88 score in there somewhere. Uh, and then I think under here is a bunch of 91 upper deck uh, high series. So I guess there's a chance at a Hank Aaron auto, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Uh, Probably more important than we'll be looking for a Jordan to come out of there. So, uh, and then some hoops here and some some ninety square football there, which I probably won't bother opening that. So, you know, for twenty bucks, I got all of this plus these boxes full of just grab bags. This box is three layers deep. Uh, that way and then this is about two layers deep so i'll also go through there and do a recap video right so it is now thursday november 5th i uh, picked up these cards about 10 or 11 days ago i think now and finally got through them all uh tossed in a two-day trip to disney which was surreal and then the last couple days with the election uh, i've been sort of between that and going through these cards, but finally through them all. Uh, I got some packs here that I'm gonna open, and uh, then some, uh, well actually, no, I'll open these second, uh, and then just uh, just go through some of the notable stuff. So, I got a couple huge stacks of Topps Gold from 1994. Uh, nothing really big uh, in these two stacks, unfortunately, so. That was that was a shame. There, there were a couple 
uh, decent cards and I have them sleeved up and I'll show them here uh, shortly. Uh, also, uh, some uh, cyber stats from 95 tops. Um, again, really only one uh, one big name in it and, and big is relative, I, I suppose, uh, to the era, but nonetheless a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of cyber stats from um, from 95 and a uh, few um, I think this is 93 leaf gold 92 leaf gold edition um, nothing too big there uh, a bunch more gold label again I think really only one or two names out of uh, gold label from Donruss 94 I believe yeah um, and then in basketball, uh, you know, just, a there's just a, a bunch of sleeves, like you saw of, you know, stars, uh, like, uh, Larry Johnson, Alonzo Mourning, um, maybe not Sam Cassell, but like Elijah Wan, um, and so here are some of the flair cards from 94, uh, in 95 era, uh, and then some of the uh, first year stadium club, uh, I believe 91 stadium club, I think it's 91, uh, or maybe 92 stadium club. Uh, these are the members choice. So these weren't parallels, even though the design is slightly different. These were uh, towards, I think the last 10 cards at the end of the set. And I had um, most of them represented, uh, Robinson, uh, Larry Johnson, Larry Bird, uh, Dikembe, bunch of Dikembe's, uh, Pippin, and Drexler, um, you know, but not the, you know, unfortunately not, not the biggest name, um, going through all this stuff, like, there were no Griffey's, or, or no, no Griffey Juniors, no Brett Favre's, no, um, Michael Jordan's or anything like that, which was kind of disappointing, but it was expected, um, so I know, um, this, the gentleman that I bought this from actually owned a, uh, card shop, and so I, that was totally expected that everything was picked over, but, uh, for the price, I didn't feel like I could pass it up. Um, so some of the more notable stuff, um, that I, that I sleeved up, these are, uh, some parallels of, I believe, um, I want to say Pacific, but I think it's wild card, but maybe they're, they're the same, but, uh, I believe 92, yeah, 92, um, if you're familiar with, with the design of this card, you know, this hologram isn't there, and this black stripe isn't there, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what the parallels are called, but uh, those are definitely not, not like the base cards. Uh, a couple of hockey cards that I picked up, or that I uh, pulled out, uh, is an early Lidstrom and an early Forsberg. I don't believe they're technically rookies, I think... 91 would have been rookies for them. Uh, but maybe, maybe these are, I have a buddy who's a hockey e expert. I can rely on him on, on him. I, I also need to show him some of the other, uh, Parkhurst parallels that I have, um, and see what he has to say about that. Uh, a couple Sean Green rookies. Uh, he's pretty good, uh, pretty good player back, um, in the nineties uh, and early two thousands. Um, I was surprised to see as many Trevor Hoffmans, uh, probably one of the top three, top four, top five relievers of all time. Um, but the uh, 92, 93 Fleer, rather, um, Fleer Ultra rookie and a uh, an upper deck rookie. Uh, I know the if if you're looking for Trevor Hoffman rookies, I know the one to to go for is the 92 Bowman. That I believe still ha or I'm, that has them with I believe the red still, um, but you know those are it's Hall of Fame rookie nonetheless. Uh, a couple Giambi's, uh, Billy Wagner, who I think will eventually get into the Hall of Fame. You know, again probably a top six or seven all-time reliever, um, off center and a fish eye, but but still a Wagner rookie. Um, again from. The 94 Tops Gold, you know, a couple uh, Jim Tomies, uh, who's a Hall of Famer, and Kurt Schelling, who probably will be a Hall of Famer in the next year or two. 
um, from 94 Donruss, a uh, couple Larry Walker, uh, gold label 94 Donruss, a couple Larry Walkers, um, 95 Cyberstats, um, Kurt Schilling, you know, again, he's going to be a Hall of Famer within the next couple years, uh, I believe. I uh, pulled this Paul Canerco because we shared the same birthday, and so that's really all there is about that. Uh, on to basketball. Uh, I found these die cuts. Uh, there were some uh, male players also, but I, I hadn't hadn't seen these cards before. These are uh, from the 96 uh, USA women's team. Uh, Lisa Leslie, Rebecca Lobo, uh, Don Staley, and Cheryl Swoops. So uh, some of the all-time greats in women's basketball. Uh, um, and then on to men's basketball. Um, unfortunately, no Kobe's. Uh, you know, I, I had hoped. I, I had seen some 96 basketball, and so I didn't know if that meant, you know, sort of the 95-96 season or the 96-97 season, and I believe it was pretty much the 95-96. So a couple of FLIR medals um, there with uh, Coleman and Kemp, um, some electric courts, um, and uh, a Kemp SP, um, Upper Deck SP. Um, so, like I said, some electric quartz, Pippin, Kemp, Mashburn, uh, some parallels from Tops. Uh, I didn't look too closely into exactly what these were. I don't know if they're inserts. Um, I don't know if they're parallels of insert sets or what, but here's a Stockton, a Marley, a uh, Chris Weber, Carl Malone, Mutombo. Here is a classic about the thinnest chrome stock card I've ever seen, um, but a uh, chrome-ish parallel of uh, classic of Jamal Mashburn, uh, Jim Jackson from Hoops. Uh, this card was interesting. This is uh, an AI, and I believe the company is uh, Scoreboard. Unfortunately, it's kind of kind of beat up, but um, an early Allen Iverson nonetheless, and then some... Uh, Tops Gold, uh, let's see, we got a Zoe, some uh, Carl Malone's, a Rodman, McHale, Pippen, Drexler, and then some subsets, uh, some other David Robinson, Marley, Jim Jackson, some Commons, Grandmama, uh, and then some, some more uh, subsets, Robinson, Larry Johnson, Ewing. So, nothing too major. Um, you know, but it was still pretty fun. Like I said, I it it like I said, it took me about 10, 11 days, about a week and a half. Um, you know, a fifteen minutes here, ten minutes there, sort of, uh, you know, watching election results or watching some football or or even watching the end of the World Series. So, um, eventually got through it all. Took took some time, but I knew it was going to take some time. It was, like I said, it was about forty thousand cards. Uh, in my estimation. So I'm going to open these packs next and try to get through them. If they're brick, I'm just going to kind of move on. Um, you know, I got some 89 Fleer, some 89 Donruss. I got some uh, 91 and 92 Donruss, really just looking for Elite Series cards there. Um, 87 Tops and some other Tops, and I'll just briefly touch on what I'm looking for in each of the packs. Um, so enough jibber-jabber, let's go. Uh, 87 Tops looking for Larkin, uh, Cherokee. I'm um, looking for Bonds, uh, Jackson, Bo Jackson, uh, McGuire, Canseco, um, basically second-year cards of those guys. Um, this is my all-time favorite set, so I really enjoy opening this stuff. So go through rather quickly and just pull out anything. Of them. There's Donny Baseball. That's about it from that pack. Uh, Tops traded. I think this is the first year that they put traded sets in packs. Um, not much in the 90 Tops trade. I think the best thing that you're looking for out of there is probably a David Justice. Um, sure. Y'all let me know in the comments if there's someone that I'm forgetting. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, Scott Erickson. He was probably big back in the day. Cecil Fielder. And that's about it. Uh, 91 traded. I have no idea. So I'm just going to open it and see if I recognize a name. Um, 
I was collecting at this time, but I did not pick up any of these packs. Um, and I probably would have had struggles back then. I'm not even going to be gentle. Just get in the pack. Sorry if you're cringing, but it is what it is. Oof. There we go. Uh, let's see, we have a Pat Kelly, Phil Nevin. Seems not bad, but... Paul Shee, uh, Terry Pendleton, and Todd Johnson. Um, series 2, looking for a Hoffman. And let's see what gold we get. I don't know. I don't recall what commons um, were in the second series. I feel like Nolan Ryan could have been in the second in, in series 2. Series 1, you're looking for Jeter. Um, and series 2 is pretty sparse. Like I said, the Hoffman is there. But again, that's, you know, it's technically a second-year card because his first-year card would have been the 92 Bowman, so. Um, our gold is uh, Eric Wedge. Um, so... Ian Figueroa. There's a Barry Bonds and Joe Carter. That's a cool little card. Oh, well, there we go. Top prospects, Mike Piazza and Carlos Delgado. Huh, I didn't know that card was in there. Learned something new. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sterling Hitchcock. Some names from way back. Hey, Alan Trammell. He's in the Hall of Fame. Steve Avery is part of the great Braves rotation in the 90s. Um, and that's about it. So that was cool. That uh, Piazza was pretty neat. Let's take another look at that. Mm, centering is kind of icky left to right, top to bottom. But that's about it. Bro oh, Brooke Fordyce is on that card, too. All right, 89. Um, Bowman, I'm looking for Griffey Jr. Uh, there's also a Randy Johnson. I'm sure there's a Kurt Schilling. Video. Um, I'm just going to open one of these packs. I'm not going to open, <clears throat> I don't know, the 30 or so packs that you saw that I had um, in the front part of this video. Is that Jackie Robinson? Not sure. Um, let's see here. Daryl Evans. There's a Molitor. Um, Jose Okendo, you know, Jim Rice, another Hall of Famer, Brooke Jacoby, Andy McGaffigan, Claude L. Washington, Marty, Monty Ferris, Ron Kittle, Chuck Finley, where she's been beaten up today, uh, Juan Bell, hmm, Rick Washington, Hugh Walker, he's nowhere close, <laughs> uh, 91 Bowman, let's see, Tommy and Chipper, think. Let's see. Tommy and Chipper plus, you know, any, any vets. I'm sure Ryan's in here. Nolan Ryan's in here. Uh, Kevin Gross is in here. <laughs> You're probably not looking for him. Um, Jerry Jr., Nolan Ryan, uh, whatever vet you're looking for. Uh, Tim McIntosh, Fernandez, ABS, Donald Harris, Teddy Higuera, is Wade Boggs, uh, Tino Martinez, the shot heard around the world with a gold stamp of the shot. It's weird. Um, Brian Harper, Cecil Fielder, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, Dale Murphy, Dale Murphy. On the Phillies looks weird, but that really happened. Um, Stadium Club Series 1. So I opened a pack of these just to see how bricked they were. They weren't too bad. Um, but like I said, if if they're too bricked up, I'm not going to make... I'm not going to suffer through it. So it's Harold Reynolds. Getting run down by Carlos Baerga. That's not... Yeah. Oh, there's a Nolan Ryan, too. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's really terrible. Uh, that's sad. Oh, well. 
Hi, kitty cat. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Look, Aguilera there. Charlie O'Brien there. She. Um, let's. We'll try the series two. That's really a bummer about that pack. I was really hoping the the first pack wasn't bricked that bad, and I was able to get the cards apart without much, uh, or in some cases, any damage to the cards. That's really a shame. Um, yeah, this I'm not hearing much snapping, so these seem to have fared a little bit better through the sands of time. But that's yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna bother again. Um, I you know what? I'm just not gonna do this. The Stadium Club. Let's move on. Score ninety. Uh, Frank Thomas, Larry Walker, and the Bo Jackson. Uh, the iconic black and white uh, Bo card. I say it's in the set. Now I'm double guessing or uh, second guessing myself. Is it in the 91? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Glenn Braggs. Uh, a Ricky Henderson card. Uh, Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. That's going to be. I believe that's a rookie for him. Uh, Bro, Fred Lynn. Tino Martinez rookie, Bobby Rose rookie, Mickey Weston rookie. Uh, 91 series one, so uh, the 90 score was all in one set, one 800 card ish set, I believe. Uh, 90 score, they inflated their set size to, I think, closer to 900, but split it up across two sets. So uh, in series one, I believe we're looking for Musina and. Let's see. Um, Tom Nevers. Okay. okay. That's still on Eddie Murray. Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla still gets me as a Barry Bonds. That's pretty, pretty sharp. Not bad. Um, I think it's time to put him in the Hall of Fame. Just my opinion just own what baseball was during his era you want to put him in his own wing put all of them in their own wing um i don't care you can't really tell the story of baseball without him though um 90 upper deck high series so there's a hank auto in here i have no chance of hitting that hank auto i think there's 2500 of them not sure how many have been accounted for uh there's a jordan short print in here that was the rage back at the beginning of spring of this year um along with a chipper and a um jim tell me so let's see let's see what we got uh pena reho jeffries Another Jeffries. Oh, it's, yeah, Greg Jeffries. Uh, Rob Deere, Ryan Sandberg, Dante Bichette. Let's see. Shorek, Hubie Brooks, Chili Davis, Odeby McDowell, Ojeda, and Hatcher. Um, so one more of those, and then we'll move on to 92. I will probably be ripping a lot of those packs um, until maybe I hit the card I'm looking for. Like, I'll open these until I find a Jordan, so another Sandberg. Um, and if I don't find one, I don't find one. I actually don't have one in my uh, collection. Sean Dunstan. Dave Parker. Again, should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. On the Angels. Hubie Brooks. Uh, Hank Aaron. Uh, baseball Heroes 715. Mike 
Keith, Palmiro, uh, Mercedes, Tattleton, and Alex Fernandez. All right, 92. Um, 92 is this low series, high series. I don't know. Find the Ted Williams. 92. Is there a... Is there a Pedro Martinez in this set? I don't recall. And I don't, I don't think there's a... Uh, I don't think there's a Piazza in here. But we'll see. Move on to early move on. One of the last people to be allowed to wear the number 42 before it was retired across all of baseball, uh, Mariano Rivera. I believe was the last one. I believe he and uh, move on and Rivera were the last two to wear it. Um, Jerry Brown, Drevick, Aquino, Kevin Moss, uh, Klesko, and Tommy. That's too bad that wasn't Chipper. That card would be a little, a little more valuable. Ruskin. Um, let's see here. 93 series. 93? No, 94. So I have 94 series one, 94 series one. Huh. I thought one of these were 93. Well, let's open this pack to see what we get. I have not opened this before. I stopped collecting um, around around this time, early, early 94. So I'm not nearly as familiar with the products after um, after this year so forgive me if I go a little bit slower Jimmy Key Dave Hollins uh, here is a gold Mel Rojas um, let's see here, Randy Johnson performers Some draft pick. Uh, Mike Morgan, Brian Jordan. I believe also played football. Pete Incabilia, Steinbach. Harris, Eric Young. Cooper, Julian Tavares. Uh, Woody Williams, Dave Winfield, Jose Lind, Vinny Castilla, and these two, Steve Cook, and a Kurt Man Waring. So nothing there. I'm surprised I haven't come across anything too big. Um, of course, that disappointing Nolan Ryan from Stadium Club, but... There's a bunch of cards produced back then. Produced back then, so. Uh, here is a Kenny Lofton, early Kenny Lofton. Gardner. Ortiz. Carl Everett. Crazy Carl Everett. Hey, here's a Ken Griffey Jr. Checklist, though. Uh, Chris Gomez. Cal Ripken. Is he on a cell phone? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know why that card cracks me up. Probably because of the brick of a cell phone that he's talking on. Jeff Hansen. Uh, Don Slott. Lee Smith's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Dave Winfield. Heard a real, real good story. Uh, about Lee Smith, about him taking forever uh, warming up in the bullpen um, when he used to play for the Cubs. Um, I think that would cause the games to go late, and I believe the grounds people used to get paid uh, by the hour, or there was a differential for them working later in the day. I think this is before they were even playing uh, night games at Wrigley Field. Um, eh, I wish I knew the story a little bit better, but I know he, he helped out the, uh, the grounds crew a lot, uh, as 
far as delaying tactics to get them a little more pay. So it just seems like a good good dude. Uh, 89 dollars. you know what we're looking for. Uh, not that guy. Uh, nothing here. And let's try one more. We got another 60. Actually, I have another 96 packs of these. So that'll be a nice rainy day break. Uh, I believe there's Tops updates coming out this week. Uh, still haven't seen the official checklist on the Tops website, but if it's uh, what. Oh, man. Uh, what was discussed on the, uh, I don't know if it's a blowout boards or, or what, the checklist is pathetic. And they're going to save all the, all the big name rookies for Series 1 uh, next year, sort of like they did this year. Uh, 91 Donruss, really just looking for Elite Series. Um, there's a McGuire. Um, early this Cal, I don't think that's... No. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer, Kevin Mitchell is on one of my all time favorite cards, 87 Tops card. Just really, really cool looking photo. Uh, series 2 of 91, 91, 91 Donruss. Maybe. There we go. Oh my lord. Morris, Ryan Sandberg, Edgar, Kurt Gibson. All right, a couple more packs. 92 Donruss Series 1. Nope, Series 2. Uh, again, Elite Series cards. I do have one. I managed, I remember back in the day, I pulled uh, Howard Johnson. Um, Elite Series, and it has not uh, fared well to time, uh, it's like a third year, fourth year so so, semi so so, uh, it, it's, it's seen better days. Uh, all right, a couple more packs, 88 Fleer, looking for Edgar Martinez, and um, Tom Glavin. See if we get lucky. Dave Winfield. And John Franco. Floyd Bannister. Del Swain. Dale Murphy on the Braves. Chat Lemon. Not a bad looking card. Alright, 89 Donruss. Know who we're looking for. Or, I'm sorry, 89 Fleer. Um, Griffey. Billy Ripken card. Randy Johnson. Biggio. Girardi. Um, any stars would be nice, too. Uh, they're pretty well centered. All those like some staining down here. Um, actually, on the corners, that could just be age. So... Nothing too big there. Last pack. Then we get on out of here because I have babbled for a good half hour in just this part of the video alone. Uh, let's see. Saber Hagen. Blavin Sosha. And nothing. All right. So, cool. That was fun. Um, of course, there's a ton of packs down there uh, still to go through. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll make, like I said, it's good rainy day video stuff. And uh, maybe we can get something big out of them. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate the support for the channel. 
Um, if you could leave a comment below, tell me what your favorite card was. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, ring that bell. That way you get any notifications for videos that I post in the future. Um, now that uh, I've gone through all these, hopefully I'm able to get back out on the retail scene, pick up some stuff, especially with update coming out. I expect you putting out a few more videos. So take care, stay safe. I'll see you later.